इन स्टराइल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वर्ड स्टराइल एसेप्टिक टर्मिनल स्टराइलाइज आर रिपीटेडली फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज बट समाइम्स देर इज अ कन्फ्यूजन बिटवीन वॉट इज स्टराइल वॉट इज एसेप्टिक एंड वॉट इज टर्मिनली स्टराइलाइज सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डू यू मीन बाय स्टराइल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और वाई वी नीड स्टराइल प्रोडक्ट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द इंजेक्टेबल्स विच आर डायरेक्टली इंजेक्टेड इन टू द ब्लड स्ट्रीम इन टू द बॉडी नीड्स टू बी स्टराइल दिस शुड बी फ्री ऑफ ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म दिस शुड बी फ्री ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म बैक्टेरियाज सो हाउ टू अचीव दैट स्टरिलिटी द वर्ड स्टराइल एसेप्टिक टर्मिनल स्टराइलाइज आर लिंक टू दैट प्रोसेस सो वैन वी नीड अ स्टराइल प्रोडक्ट वॉट वी आर सपोज टू डू देर आर टू डू थ्री डिफरेंट मेथोडोलॉजीज बाई विच वी कैन अचीव स्टरिलिटी फर्स्ट इज एसेप्टिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सो वॉट हैपन्स इन एसेप्टिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और वॉट इज एसेप्टिक सो वॉट हैपन्स इन एसेप्टिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग द कंपोनेंट्स विच आर गोइंग फॉर द प्रोडक्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग नीड्स टू बी क्लीन एंड स्टरिलाइज लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो इन अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग स्टेप फर्स्ट वी हैव टू मैन्युफैक्चर अ मैन्युफैक्चर अ बल्क प्रोडक्ट अ बल्क सोल्यूशन अ बल्क सोल्यूशन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज अकर्स इन ग्रेट सी एरियाज द वेसल्स विच आर यूज फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कैन और कैन नॉट बी स्टराइल बट इट हैज टू बी क्लीन बाय द वॉटर फॉर इंजेक्शन एटलीस्ट सो इट इज बेटर टू हैव अ स्टराइल वेसल टू रिड्यूज द प्री बायोडन द गाइडेंस फॉर इंडस्ट्री स्टराइल एफ डी एस गाइडेंस फॉर इंडस्ट्री सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड फोर एंड अदर रेगुलेटरी गाइडलाइंस सजेस्ट और इंसिस्ट दैट ऑल एफर्ट्स शुड बी मेड टू द प्रोडक्ट्स to reduce the bio burden in your process throughout the manufacturing process so considering that approach your manufacturing vessel should be at least clean with water for injection as a final step then preferably it should be sterilized to reduce the bio burden but this is a manufacturing process where you actually manufacture your injectable solution it's not just sterile it's just manufacture so how to achieve sterility so when we talk of aseptic processing what happens in aseptic processing the all the components which are coming into the direct product contact after filtration step needs to be sterilized so what happens after your manufacturing you have to filter it to remove all the living micro all the bacteria all the particulates from the solution and how we achieve that so we use a 0.2 micron filter one or two in series to remove all the particulates and all the bacteria all the microorganism from the product so these filters are sterilized they they are sterilized and are connected to a sterile collection vessel sterile holding vessel or we can say sterile filtration vessel so once you manufacture it goes through a filter it go and it goes to the sterile collection vessel it can be we can call it sterile holding vessel we can call it sterile filtration vessel or we can call it sterile collection vessel so this solution from through filtration goes to the collection vessel now in the collection vessel or filtration vessel it's a filtered particulate free bacteria free solution now this solution has to be filled into the containers so what happens for the filling process all the component in the aseptic processing all the components which are coming after after filtration coming into the product contact needs must be sterile by method of different methods one is steam sterilization so vessel in which solution is collected can be steam sterilized it can be done through sterilization in place or it can be th done through by placing it in a large autoclave so these are two methodologies very large vessels very large collection vessel which cannot be placed inside autoclave are sterilized in place so steam is actually injected in that i have made many videos on sterilization in place on my channel farmaven so you can just go and check on my channel and the smaller vessel can be done sterilized through autoclave or by autoclave or by steam sterilization in autoclave so there are many videos on my channel farmaven about autoclaving as well so you can go to my channel page and find these videos now 
when you have done the sterilization now we need to fill it so for the filling if you are using vials or ampules then it also needs to be sterilized so why how they are sterilized they are sterilized by dry heat method through deep hydrogenation tunnel or dry heat sterilization ovens so why glass containers are exposed to the deep hydrogenation tunnel and why not autoclave so after autoclaving that can be that 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 can be water residues and also autoclave will not kill the endotoxins so in deep hydrogenation tunnel or deep hydrogenation oven it will remove the endotoxin it will kill endotoxin so you are cleaning your glass containers vials or ampules or and then you are sterilizing by deep hydrogenation oven or dry heat sterilization deep hydrogenation tunnel or dry heat sterilization oven and then it comes to the filling machine now whatever assemblies which are going for use for the filling like filling needles syringes silicon tubings everything has to be sterilized and that sterilization occurs in autoclave steam sterilizer autoclave so all these components are autoclaved brought into the filling machine the process of bringing from sterilizer to the filling machine is also controlled either it occurs through a laminar airflow mobile laminar airflow cart or they are triple wrapped so it will be protected from exposure to the outside environment and then their final outer wrapping is open inside grade a to prevent external contamination getting into the sterile components so this is how it works all the components used for filling are sterilized if you are using rubber stoppers in case of wire those rubber stoppers are also needs to be sterile in steam sterilization autoclave and then bringing brought to the filling machine for the filling operation now once you have gathered everything like you have done your sterilization of your filling assembly sterilization of your rubber stoppers and preferably sterilization of your aluminum seal caps which goes on your vials everything needs to be sterile then we have a final filtration step so we have collected the vessel uh, the filtered bulk in sterile collection vessel sterile filtration vessel or sterile holding vessel now before filling there is one more filter a final filter and then it goes into the containers vials or ampules so one step was filtration from manufacturing vessel to collection vessel and there is now another step from filtration vessel before filling there is one more filter and this is a final filter it also re removes all the bacteria which might be present in filtration vessel it's more one more additional sterility assurance step <coughs> so when we are doing this process that manufacturing then collection in sterile vessel bringing everything together which is pre sterilized this is my aseptic process so this filtration this filling process occurs under grade a and the support area is grade b sometimes this can be a sterility test uh, can, uh, filling can be done in isolator as well but when we are sterilizing pre sterilizing everything bring it it together fill under grade a so and support area should be grade b then this is aseptic processing this is aseptic when we say aseptic processing this is the aseptic processing now when we say sterile so whatever we are doing sterilization we are doing sterilization of collection vessel we are doing sterilization of filling assembly we are doing deep hydrogenation of vials we are doing sterilization of rubber stopper seal those components which are exposed to a sterilization process and after that when we claim this are free from microorganisms through validated sterilization process then those components we call as sterile those components are now sterile so processing is aseptic processing the grade B, grade a area supported by grade grade b area and this filling process we call as septic filling the process is aseptic processing on all the components which are sterile separately are called sterile components so i hope this is now clear what is aseptic 
the process is aseptic but components which are individually sterile are sterile components and this entire processing is called aseptic processing now we'll understand what is terminal sterilization or what is terminal sterilization or what is terminal sterilization process or what is terminally sterilized products so when the product why we are going for the aseptic processing when the product itself your manufactured bulk itself if it cannot withstand heat it cannot be sterilized in and with steam sterilization it cannot withstand heat then we go for the aseptic processing where the product itself the bulk solution itself is not getting heated but if the product can sustain heat it can be sterilized it can be sterilized in the final container then we go for the terminal sterilization the so what happens in terminal sterilization in terminal sterilization after the filling of the final container you have filled the vials or you have filled the ampules or if you are using bags you have filled the bags or if you are using pre-filled syringe you have filled your syringes then if those containers are then exposed to the sterilization step those vials those ampules are loaded into a steam sterilizer goes to a sterilization step it can be steam sterilization it can be air steam mixture or it can be superheated sterilizers jason that's it there are three four different methodologies by which can be product can be sterilized in its final container so this process when you fill the containers and the final container is goes is sterilized in its final container through steam sterilization process or through air mix or air and steam mixture or through ste superheated steam or sorry superheated water then it is terminal sterilized product terminal sterilization process now in terminal sterilization process for the pre part your vials ampules has to be deparagenated you have to sterilize your components for filling assembly silicon tubing needles if you are using stoppers you have to sterilize all your st stoppers as a added step to reduce pre bio burden but since the product is finally terminally sterilized in its container it is a it adds a one more sterility assurance step so if there is something which is not controlled in your pre part upstream still your terminal sterilization process will kill whatever leftover might have entered into the product in terminalization process terminal sterilization step or terminal sterilization process so now your terminal sterilization step can be done like filling you have to do in grade a but your support area can be grade c because it is terminally sterilized product so that leverage is can be taken for the production of terminal sterilization products but in the same line if you are processing aseptic products as well as terminal sterilization products then everything else remains the same practically only you are going for the terminal sterilization of the product which can be done through terminal sterilization so this is the difference and if you are only manufacturing terminal sterilized products on the line then your filling line can be grade a and your support area can be grade c or if you are using isolator for aseptic processing then isolator of course is grade a but your support area can be grade c because the isolator undergoes a final decontamination step before we start our filling process to make sure everything which is inside is sterile the surfaces are sterile or surface decontamination has been done in an isolator so i hope you are now clear aseptic processing what is aseptic processing what is sterile and what is terminal sterilization or what is terminal sterilized products so i hope this all video will be helpful to make you understand what is these terms and what how it is important in sterile manufacturing process there are many more videos i have like made more than 500 videos on my channel pharma van especially related to the sterile manufacturing sterilized validation aseptic processing and all other steps like visual inspection cleaning sip cip and how to 
हैंडल एफ डी हाउ टू फेस यू एस एफ डी इंस्पेक्शन देर आर लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन माई चैनल यू कैन गो टू माई चैनल फार्मा वैन सी दिस वीडियो टू गेन नॉलेज एंड ऑल्सो शेयर टू ऑल द फार्मास्यूटिकल फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री टू स्प्रेड द नॉलेज Thanks thanks a lot for watching my full video I really appreciate it if you like you can subscribe to my channel farmaven and also share to the, all the people or friends which can be which can get benefit from my videos thank you thank you very much for watching my full video thank you